This question is taken from the Enger 2020 section 1 paper and it is question 39. So we read, in the following circuit the ammeter reads 0 amps and so we have this circuit with two batteries so 6 volts and 16 volts. What is the resistance of resistor R? So how can we use this information of the ammeter reading 0 amps? Well, we know no current will be going through this ammeter. So we can cross this through. So this is almost disconnected in that sense. But how can we still find this resistance R? Well, in order to find resistances in a lot of circuits, we'll need to use voltage relationships or Ohm's law. So it might be a good idea to see what happens to the current as they mention the ammeter reading zero. So we have a current coming out of both batteries and then the same current should be flowing back in. What can we deduce from this? How, how is this even useful to the question? Well, if I1 is coming out of here and then I1 is coming here, then there must be no current transfer between the other joints here, these other junctions between the resistors. So this must be I1 and this is I2. So this is all practically disconnected as well and how is that information useful well in order for no current to flow between two points there must be no potential difference so this point at the bottom and the other point at the bottom have the same potential difference or they're at the same potential and same for these other two junctions so in the middle here and the other one in the middle so these points A and B, as I've labelled them, are at the same potential. So because we know that we can easily work out the potential in the left-hand circuit, then we can relate this to the right-hand. So the potential from A to the bottom of this part of the circuit is two-thirds of six volts is four volts, because it's 200 divided by 300 the total resistance of the 6 volts so that's two thirds of 6 volts which is 4 volts that's how we could use it using the simple resistance fraction relationship so this must mean that b and this bottom part this potential difference is also 4 volts which if we want to relate this to the fraction of the resistances which will be easier than doing some long algebra as we will then see we can see that as B is 4 volts, this is a quarter of the total battery EMF, 16 volts. So if this is a quarter of the total EMF, this must be a, must be a quarter of the total resistance. So similar to question 1 in this paper, this section 2, where we had the two springs in series, if one part is a quarter, then that must mean it's a third of the other the other one because it's split into three parts and another one part to make four. So seeing as R is a quarter of 1,200 plus R, we can then deduce that R is a third of the 1,200 resistor, which is 400 ohms. So this resistance is 400 ohms. So it's good to use these relationships in terms of splitting things into parts so if one is three to two if the ratio is three to two then you know one is two fifths of the total so if it's a quarter then that is the same as one over three plus one or if it's three quarters three over three plus one these relationships are very good to use in springs resistances a whole host of topics so it's good to keep on top of that skill